Have you ever dreamed of creating a different process for managing your bugs? Now you can. We've listened to your feedback and we understand that different types of work go through different processes. Hello, and welcome to this Team 22 demo. My name is Brian Lim, and I'm here to proudly showcase that we've reimagined the way that you can map your team's process into Jira software. Team managed project admins now have the ability to set a different workflow for each of their issue types. Let's jump into a demo. As you're following along with the example, consider how does your team treat different types of work? Let's say our team handles five different types of work, epics, stories, tasks, and bugs. We call these issue types in Jira. Currently, our team has defined four statuses to represent the state of an issue at a specific point in our team's process. To do, in progress, in review, and done. Each of these statuses are represented as columns on our board. However, we want to ensure all bugs are triaged by one of our teammates. So we'd like to add statuses to, to accurately represent the bug triaging process. For example, bugs on, my, on our team may transition through the following statuses. Open, triage, in progress, in review, and fix. Let's walk through how to define a different workflow for each of your issue types in Jira and map the newly created workflow onto your board. First, navigate to the workflow editor via the edit workflow button under issue types and project settings. A Jira workflow is a set of statuses and transitions that an issue moves through during its life cycle and typically represents your team's process. Statuses can fall into three different categories. To do for work not yet started, in progress for work in flight, and done for work that has been completed. Let's now add our desired statuses. In this example, I will create the following statuses. Open with the to do status category, triage with an in-progress status category, and fixed with the done status category. I will quickly rearrange these statuses and delete any unnecessary statuses to accurately reflect my team's bug triaging process. Once you're finished adding your statuses, apply the changes to the bug workflow. We have now created a workflow that only applies to the bug issue type. Today, I'm excited to share with you a new feature that our team has been working hard on. When you add a status, we've embedded the board settings page in the workflow editor to guide you to accurately map your newly created statuses to the appropriate columns. We hope this will save you time when configuring your workflows. A board is a representation of a team's work. We assume that work moves from left to right as your team completes work. Thus, if your team is running sprints, we highly recommend that you map your terminal statuses to the last column on your board. Simply drag and drop your newly created statuses to the appropriate columns. Rank the statuses that come first in your team's workflow at the top. Did you know you can save time for you and your team by automatically assigning tasks to a teammate? Here's how to set it up. Let's use the story issue type as an example. I will start by creating transitions to reflect my team's process. I want issues to strictly transition from statuses in this order. So I'm gonna start by deleting the global transitions. When an issue moves from to do to in progress, work has started. So I'll name the transition start work. When an issue transitions from in progress to in review, it's in peer review. And finally, when an issue goes from in review to done, it's shipped to production. Since we only have one quality assurance teammate, I want to add a role to this transition to make sure my quality assurance teammate, Rogerio, gets notified when an issue enters the in-review status. 
be sure to check out our five available rules in Team Manage Projects to help make your team more efficient. I'm going to select the first rule here because when an issue moves from in progress to in review, I want to notify Rogerio. Let's navigate back to the board to see how our new workflows are represented on the board. To give all users on the project context of the workflow via the board, when an issue is ready to be transitioned to a new status, we've introduced drop zones. Drop zones are a visual cue of what transitions are available for an issue. In this case, I've completed work on my user story. It's ready to be transitioned to in review. As you can see, the rule is automatically applied as Rogerio is assigned to the issue. Rogerio tells me this experience is simply amazing and we're ready to ship it. As you can see, we've given you the power to define specific processes in JIRA. We made it easy for you to set a different workflow for each of your issue types and map these workflows to your board. I'll leave you with three pro tips. Number one, start simple. Add the statuses and transitions you need. Set a different workflow for one of your issue types and iterate with your team going forward. Number two, once you set a different workflow for your issue types, make sure you take the time to map your newly created statuses to the appropriate columns on your board in order to keep your board tidy. And number three, Set rules to help automate and make your team's process more efficient. That's all for today. If you're attending our in-person experience in Las Vegas, be sure to visit the Jira software booth to learn more.